Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can find and use the Periodic Table of Elements app on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. This is a fantastic tool for chemistry students or anyone working with elements. To get there from our main screen, first we have to navigate to the main menu by pressing the menu key here. And then we see the main menu here. And to get to our periodic table, we can either scroll down and over to physium, or from here, we can scroll up to go in the reverse direction and get us there a little bit faster. So we highlight physium and hit the EXE. Then we see this menu here. At the top, we have periodic table. And at the bottom, we see fundamental physics constants. Well, in this video, we're looking at the periodic table. So we highlight that and hit EXE. And there we go. It brings up our periodic table of elements. You can see our Highlighted square here in one is H. And we can scroll around on our table to highlight different elements. If we're highlighting one and want to know more about it, we can either hit F6 for detail or just hit EXE, which will bring up a screen that looks like this. And we see number one, H, is hydrogen a non-metal, and here's a little fun fact, the most common element in the universe. It gives us a little picture here and a weight of 1.008. To go back to the table, we can just hit exit. Now this table is pretty small, it's tough to read. If we want to zoom in, we can hit F4 large. There we go. We're zoomed in and it's a little easier to see. We can scroll around the different sections of the table. And again, if we want more information, we can highlight one and hit either the EXE or the F6 detail. And there we go. This one's FE iron. There's our fun fact, our weight and our picture. To go back, again, we hit the exit. And if we want to go back to the zoomed out normal screen, we can hit F4 or normal. We also have the option to highlight different series here. So if we hit F1, we see this menu here, where we have F1, trans or transition metals, F2, alkaline metals, F3, alkaline earth metals, F4, halogens, F5, noble gases, and F6, rare earth. And to go back, again, we hit the exit key. We can also search on this menu based on a number of different features with the F5 key here. So we see F1, name. We can scroll through our different elements, or we can enter it here. So let's find gold. Well, you just start by keying that in with the red letters above the keys here. So G, and you can see it's already gone to Gs. So if we scroll down, highlight gold, select that. Our cursor has automatically gone to AU number 79. And if we select it, we see that's gold. And we can go back with the exit key. And we can also search by the symbol. The number of the element. So let's try number two. There we go. 
It's taking us to number two, helium. and the weight of the element under F4. There we go. And again, we can scroll through our different elements. We see O with a weight of 15.999. If we select it, our cursor has gone to O. And if we select it again, we see that O is oxygen. There's our fun fact, our picture, and our weight. Again, we can back out with the exit key. And if we're done working with this, we can either go back with the exit key twice to this menu, or we can go back directly to the main menu with the menu key. There we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And, as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.